Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one, I'm going to be breaking down the stunning Steve Austin uh, feud event. Uh, taking a look at the milestones since they're live now, as well as the portal points are live. So you get 200,000 for the portal. I'm assuming it'll be there today and tomorrow. Um, if you look on the right of my screen, you can see here, uh, you would get an additional million if you pull Austin and recruit him. Um, I don't have that factored into the scoring. Tours are 1.18 million. First loot coin is 100,000 uh, each day for two days. Hall of Fame Austin, if your faction maxes, you'll get 240 shards. Same for King Macho. Uh, the portal, you got the, the 200,000, I'm assuming twice. That's a total of 2,020,000 uh, doing two loot pulls. Max milestone is 5 million, so that's what would be considered um, the milestone. I guess without the two loopholes, you would get to here. So this is zero pulls, right? Um, so even the, the 200,000 uh, doesn't quite get you to this milestone. So then you have to start factoring in talent up. And this is where I think it's really going to depend on your resources, your roster, how many unleveled guys you have. You can max out the paid event by doing talent up. You can see if you do those two pulls, um, it would take 10,000 new gen striker talent up along with 50,000 striker and 50,000 new gen. So 110,000 talent up total doing it that way would max the paid portion out without spending. So it is a lot, but it does give you a lot. Um, so that's a lot of talent up though. So keep that in mind, but it might make sense to hit some of these milestones in here. If you can max it, there's 200 Austin shards, 10 million coin, and that NWO plate, uh, waiting for you at the end. Um, so you have to decide if it's worth it to you. Uh, you can get here though, this milestone, uh, without spending and then a uh, small amount of spending or small amount of talent up gets you to the 2 million mark. I think that makes sense for sure for me. I'll definitely do talent up to get there. Um, 2.8 is another 100 Austin shards. Uh, so that probably makes sense for me. And then the 5 million coin here and the 25 Stacy shards at the 3.3 million. I think for sure, um, assuming I can do the other stuff, I will go for that. After that, it's it's 1.7 million. So is 700,000 worth it to get this? Maybe not as much. So I think if you can't hit the final one, maybe you stop your talent up here uh, because this is just 60 shards and three bags of bronze. Whereas this last milestone is kind of the home run, right? So I think stopping points that make sense are this 3.3 with that extra 5 million. Um, or 2.3 as far as talent up because you're getting the coin there and um if you're only going here maybe it's not worth it for the 100 shards to you maybe it is so either you don't bother with talent up and stop here you do a little bit and go here do some more and go here or like go ham and hit the final milestone i think those are the ones that make sense um you can look at the shards on the right you can almost guarantee yourself them 95 shards short. There are also shards in the leaderboards that I don't have figured in, as well as some offers that give those guaranteed shards. So if you can max it, not only are you getting all of the milestones, but most likely you're going to give yourself Austin as well with very little extra effort. Um, so take all those things into account, check your talent up, check your, how many shards you have, um, new gen strikers, you have two options, you have Rocky, uh, Mayavia, and you have big boss man. So initially I want to plan on going for that route. Um, what you, so you can look by era and sort your roster, see what you have for sh shards and stuff that you can level up. Um, and go that route, obviously. Um, make sure you equip the moves and use them that way. Um, otherwise, you won't get uh, points for them. So as far as new gen, um, makes a lot. Boss man is actually my lowest new gen. Um, I have almost 4,000 shards. He's a three-star silver. Uh, so him, I will probably take at least to 9K, but he's on also an enforcer for stipulation. So I'll take him to 12k. It'll be more than 8,000 points. So I'll just take him to 12k for that because he's a useful enforcer for me. And then um, I'll have to look into Rocky. I have a fuse for him. I'm obviously going to use that fuse. It helps for the, the faction event. Um, I do have some shards for him too. 
So, you know, maybe I'll level him up a little bit as well, at least to use those shards. Uh, that should put me well over the 10,000 mark, obviously doubling down. That saves me a bunch of other talent up. Uh, after that, I'll look for useful guys, though. I'll, I'll hit my shards up, use the shards I have, and then, um, you know, anyone that's low for coin. From there, I'll go to strikers um, and check my strikers. I know I have Farouk untouched, so I can get an easy, easy 10,000 uh, talent up out of him. So if you have an unleveled one, you can go that route if it's worth it to you. Again, looking at stuff that makes sense. I mean, I'll hit the Brock fuse I have here up. Um, I'll work up maybe Icon Big Show. Um, stuff like that. You know, useful guys, maybe some Sid. Anyone I have a ton of shards for. Dude Love is someone I kind of want to use. Uh, if you still have your Hall of Fame left, you can double dip with Wendy in the Hall of Fame, Booker T in the Hall of Fame in this one. Stuff like that, right? Um, uh, HBK is useful for Marquee Tour, so maybe HBK um, and what have you. Um, Becky Icon, Braun, all those are really useful stuff. I can get them completely ready for Talent Up and that sort of thing. Uh, so that's how you want to kind of go about that, make useful decisions. Like if you don't have Taker 9K yet for his 9K ability, there's a great one. Um, dude love 9k things like that try and make moves that make sense and can benefit your roster and don't don't hurt you and see how far you can get on that talent up right um so the shards war score um is going to be big for your faction um and let's see where we have it hiding on this one probably in the faction one since you get faction points yeah here's the individual war score you want to make sure and get all of the faction points. That stops at 10 million. Um, so anything after 10 million is just solo stuff, which you're looking at 75 Austin shards, 2 million coin, uh, the the plate picker. And then in the final milestone, you get 100 Austin shards, these 200 or 2.5 million coin. But more importantly, uh, this guy here, you do get uh, either... A four star gold macho or 80 to 100 shards, or a four star gold Shayna or 150 to 200 shards. So it's both. You get a shot at Shayna and a shot at macho. So shards are a card for each of them. Um, so that's really cool. I'm starting to get kind of close for Shayna. So I definitely want to do my 25 million to hit that and get those extra 100 Austin shards. But if you don't want to go the full way, um, you know, you probably want to stop at 15 million, you know, and get that little extra if you don't care about the plate picker. Um, 15 million might make sense, but at least get to 10 million for your faction, uh, because a lot of people will be counting on that faction event and there's macho shards in there and hall of fame, Austin shards, which are going to be important to a lot of people. So make sure you do some feuding for that overall, though, I say this is a good event and I typically always will because you can max it without spending. Is it, is it cheap resource wise? No, but can you do it? Yes. So um, you do get some bonuses here with the first time loot, but here you see the talent up um, and that sort of thing and collecting your shards. So hopefully that helps. Let me blow this up bigger for you one more time so you can screenshot it. I'll make it as big as I can. Let me move my little logo here out of the way for you. There you guys go. Let me hide this one for the shards. Get that out of the way. There you go. Go ahead and screenshot that. Um, and hopefully you guys have a good feud weekend. Uh, it looks to be pretty solid. Basically guarantee yourself a card. Um, and if you can do a bunch of talent up. Either way, do the talent up that makes sense. There's a bunch of milestones before it, even if you don't want to do talent up. Uh, but have a good time with it, guys. I think that's all I have to, to say for this. It's a solid one. And um, I like this kind of event personally because I can decide if the talent up's worth it and I don't have to spend. And it's actually a decent amount of talent up points for a 5 million max. So um, there you have it. So let me know what you think in the comments and remember to like, subscribe and share as that helps me out. Also, if you're watching this before Feud, I should be streaming Feud on Twitch at 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, 7 Central, 8 Eastern, along with uh, Ven Corbin. We're going to be doing a dual two screen or one screen, two, uh, two feuds going on at the same time, and both of us in voice chat. So it should be a really good time. So come around, hang out, and have some fun this weekend. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and good luck out there.